I was trying to figure out how I got over a thousand views on my last video. How come no one told me it's not <laughs> I figured it out. Hajime! First off, I'm sorry it took so long. Yeah, lack of internet access in Arizona made it very hard to vlog and stay in touch with people. And I still rock. A dumb phone. It's not very smart. Yes, I will make this vlog count and put a lot of stuff in it because that's what you guys want to see is stuff. Here we go. After the US Champs, I was just mentally exhausted. I needed a break. So I took a week off. That whole week, I got two stretch days in. I went snowboarding in one day, which was awesome. Uh, the good thing is I went with Carrie, and she's never been snowboarding, so it kept me out of the board park. Because the last time I was in there, I broke my wrist doing the rodeo in the half pipe. Over rotating is a bad thing. It's probably the best clip that happened that whole time. This guy decided to go snowboarding or skiing in this area that he wasn't supposed to be in. Carrie's like, "You gotta get the GoPro right now! Go get the GoPro right now! Go get it! Get it! Get it! He's gonna do something stupid." She was right, and he wanted to show off in front of his lady friend he had there and he hit it so hard he disappeared into a cloud <laughs> <laughs> yeah good footage so we flew out saturday did some shenanigans on the plane we're probably making everyone around us irritated uh because we were acting like we were 12 years old and it was our first time on a plane so <laughs> sorry to everyone who was on the plane but we were having a good time sunday I locked myself in Barnes & Noble and wrote my training to the best of my ability and it stressed me out. I was in there for four hours and I had to figure out how to juggle my weights, my running workouts, my meet schedule, how to make all this work with high school meets and their practice schedule, the order that it should work, and if I should do an acceleration day followed by a speed endurance day, followed by an off day, followed by and then repeat, or do an acceleration, a technique, a speed endurance is... It was a mess. It was stressing me out. I got it figured out now. I like to think I'm good at solving puzzles. I'm ready to rock. Monday. First workout of the outdoor season. Your first yeah. workout of the year. We're going to the, the worst hill in Arizona to sprint up. I'm not sprinting. <laughs> Maybe I'll do her workout. <laughs> <laughs> we have to climb this thing to get to our workout. Hate this hill. I hate this hill. I hate this hill. I hate this hill. I already hate it. What? A little bug? <laughs> so I did 5 by 20 meters, 5 by 40 meters, and 5 by 60 meters up the hill with 3 to 4 minutes recovery. One more 40! Just one more 40! <laughs> I came down the hill one time <laughs> and she was freaking out because <laughs> there was a little bug that was <laughs> Flying around her head. She was <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, as crappy as I felt running up the hill, that made it all worth it. Uh, it was a fun workout. And we decided to walk to the top. <laughs> Carrie's from Minnesota, so am I. And she was like, so excited to see a little baby cactus. She reached out and goes, <gasps> A cactus! <laughs> and grabbed it and just goes, <gasps> I didn't even, I couldn't even help her. I was too busy <laughs> laughing at her. You just grabbed a cactus. What did you think was gonna happen? Her excitement for seeing a cactus overrid her fear of being pricked by the cactus. Going to the A. We're on our way there. Oh look, a broken fence. That usually means it's gonna be more fun to go that way. Another weird thing is we saw a lizard. I don't know why, but I almost stepped on the thing's head. It was just sunbathing, and I was jumping up these stairs to go to the top. 
we're poking at it and it's not moving and then all of a sudden don't bite me just <laughs> 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 Up. Yeah, one of those stories that maybe you had to be there. But you kind of are there, because I took video of it, so boom, we both win. <laughs> I had a speed endurance workout. I had 8 by 200 meters. So the first four were in 28 to 30 seconds, and the second four were in like 27 to 29 seconds. All with 90 seconds rest. I ran them all in 26 to 27. I suck at pacing. I have two speeds, stop and go. And that's pretty much it. We found a high school to train at because we couldn't get to any of the colleges down there. They didn't want us working out by ourselves, thinking we'd rip up their track. Uh, they don't know me, so why would they trust me? I get it. We got to this high school, and I was like, Hey, the gates are open. Let's go in. And Carrie's like, No. It says there's no trespassing signs everywhere, and if we trespass, we'll get in trouble, and we might get picked up by the cops and get put in jail or a ticket or what are we going to do? And I was like, Hey, we'll just go in. And she's like, no, we gotta go ask permission. So I went in, we asked permission. Buddy, hey, can we work out in your track? No one's on there. And she's like, yeah, let me go check. So if you come back at 7.30 or 8 tonight, then you can work out on the track. It was noon. I'm not coming back to do a 20 minute workout at 8 o'clock at night. We left. We drive around for 20 minutes and find another high school. So we had to walk through fields, more fences, jump a couple gates, keep going. And we finally got to the track. It was way more sketchy than the first place because there was a lot of people out there. And I was like, hey, sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. So I'm going in and working out, and they can yell at me if they want. So I get on the track, warm up really quick, start running these twos, and Carrie just hid the whole time. <laughs> but you're standing over there waiting to come back. And I think this is your last one, and we get to go. Yay! So excited to get out of here. I'm, I'm very scared. And she was going to do part of the workout with me and or suntan. And she was just going to suntan. I'm sorry for breaking into your school, which I didn't really do, I just ran on the track. That's what you do. Sometimes you gotta break a couple rules so you can further your own pole vault training. It's not like I killed anybody or anything. Wednesday. I had an off day. Uh, I just did a 10 minute run and an hour and a half stretch. It was fantastic. Thursday. I had an acceleration in plyos. I didn't really want to break into another track again, so I found a field and did accelerations there. I'm gonna do with what I can. I'm gonna find a park do plyos off the jungle gym, and do sprints on the grass. So technically grass would probably feel better on my feet anyway, so you do with what you can do. You've gotta be creative and smart. I did four times 20 meters, four times 40 meters, four times 50 meters. And the 20s, you drive the, to the 40s, you're tall, and then the 50s, you attack. So it's kinda like a pole vault run. There's an acceleration phase, a tall phase, and then a get after it phase. AKA the last couple steps of your pole vault takeoff. I did that. <laughs> And then I had some plyos to do, and I didn't have anything to jump off of, but there was a park. I climbed a little doodad thing. And it was good. It was fun, actually. It was fun jumping in the sand and stuff, so I got a good workout in. Thursday, I tried to find a waterfall in... Bison, Arizona? And we heard there was this 40-foot waterfall that you could go find. We were on a mission to find it. It was like a two and a half hour drive out there. Ten minutes into the drive, some car decided to start on fire. We've been sitting in the car for an hour. So... What did I do? Turn on the radio. Someone decided to get in an accident. It's 94 degrees outside. So we've been doing Ooh. And there were some jams. Started singing. I can be a hero, baby. What else do you expect from me? <laughs> The whole thing, well, it was a pretty drive, it's awesome. We get out there, and the park, the weather went from 95 degrees to like 60 in a matter of 10 miles. We start going through this like little area in the national park, and we find some snow in Arizona. Arizona has snow, I didn't know that. I told Carrie to make a snowball or a snow angel, and she made one, and she chucked it at me, and it went right through the window and exploded oh, everywhere, and it hit an orange peel we had, and good that throw, was flying everywhere. It was a good shot. Now I'm wet. And then we gave up trying to find the waterfall because there was nowhere to be found. Had no idea and it was getting dark. So we just checked out some streams. Yeah, streams are pretty cool. What? Are you stuck? And I'm like a little kid where I just like to throw rocks. Yay! 
So we tried all sorts of stuff. I was just chucking rocks, and I do this one where I leaned over and threw it over my head and tried to teach, teach Carrie how to do it. <laughs> it. Took her a couple tries. The rocks almost landed on my head. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah! Obviously, I had to do my best impression of Reese Hoffa or Christian Cantwell with my my shot put throw just terrible form so I'll stick with pole vaulting yeah it was that was probably my favorite part of the whole trip Friday. I did a pre-meet and headed over to my grandma's house nothing too crazy happened on Friday Saturday was the meet at Arizona I got there, but a lot of people seemed to know me, and I didn't know them, and I've never had that experience before. I really, honestly, only thought my mom, and like, then Carrie, and Caroline, and maybe her kids watched these vlogs. But there are a lot more people watching these than I thought. And it was cool talking to all these people, and say, and they kept kind of saying, Hey, it's nice that someone's doing the exact same stuff I'm doing, and I don't feel so alone anymore. I met all kinds of people from all kinds of different places and had some really good talks. If you talk to me at the meet, thank you so much. I love meeting you and talking to you and hope I see you guys again. So the meet started and I had random people just go <laughs> They were hooting away, which was kind of cool. And while I was warming up, I saw Dan Paff, which is what I base a lot of my training off of, is his um, theories on training and stuff. So. I didn't have the balls to go talk to him, but I was a creeper and stared at him a lot like Is that Dan Path? Should I go talk to him? I don't know if I can. What if it's not Dan Path? I do. It is Dan Path. Oh, yeah. Should I go talk to him? Oh, he's gone. I, I, opportunity gone. Son. Dang it. So, next time, I'll go talk to Dan Path. So I apologize if the footage isn't the best from the meet. I had a GoPro and uh, she was she was outside of the fence filming me for my GoPro. And if you know anything about GoPros, they don't have a zoom. So, anyways, I came in at 490, cleared that on my first, pole was too small, went up a pole, 490, 17.2, which is the biggest 490 I've ever been on from six lefts, and it took three attempts to figure that pole out. But I figured it out on my third attempt, where to hold, where to put the standards and everything, popped over that. Ooh, there you go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Went to 520, got that on my first attempt. Then at 5.30, I can't believe I missed 5.30. Here's what happened. First attempt, I blow over. It's probably my prettiest jump of the day. And I look down in the pole. Like, here's me over the bar. And the pole's coming right back at me as I'm coming down. I did not want to land on that pole and become a vaulticle. A vaulticle? I did not want that pole to be shoved up my butt. So I kind of went, Ugh! And I hit the bar with my hand in my chest a little bit. And it fell down. But it was a good jump. Oh, nice try, babe. I was told that the standards were too close, so I moved them back a little bit. Hit it on the way up, because I started hitting my takeoff really good at that point. Moved them back again, standards were at 80. I was on the 16.7 for every jump from five meters up to 5.30. And it was too small, so I think I probably should have needed 16.2 would have worked fantastic. But next time, you live and you learn. It's probably the best meet I've ever had from six lefts. I'll take it. So yeah, it was cool. I had all these people hooting at me, and uh, Carrie's stepdad was there, my grandma was there, um, Carrie was there, that was awesome, and a lot of other people. So I met so many cool people after the meet, too. They came up and just wanted to talk to me, and it was fun. It was I love talking to you guys, so thanks for coming up and high-fiving me and stuff. It was cool. It was a fun meet. I just felt like I was back in Fargo or Minnesota, where everybody knows your name. Is that a Cheers reference? Do you guys even know what Cheers? That was a dumb. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> so Sunday, I was just going to take it completely off and just chill out, have a day off in Arizona, no training or nothing. My grandma really wanted us to go gliding. I don't know if you know what gliding is, but you take a plane, 
that doesn't have a motor and another plane tows it up into the air and then when you get high enough they just pull the cord and then you just go f gliding around and f fly on all the thermals that are floating around. Where are we? What are you going to be doing? Gliding. You scared? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I had a lot of fun gliding around. Um, again, the only weird thing was not jumping out of the plane once we got up to altitude because, God, it makes me want to skydive really bad. Soon. Soon I'll have some fun skydive footage when it gets nicer out in Minnesota. And then Monday, I flew home and our flight got delayed because it was snowing in Minnesota and it was weird. If you saw the last little pre-vlog, that was us after three hours of sleep, sitting in the airport, waiting to go back to cold, cold, cold Minnesota. But when we got to Minnesota, I started talking to strangers and embarrassing Carrie, so. Hey, have a good flight, guys. Yeah, Ramstein, have a good flight. <laughs> have a good flight, sir. Have a good flight. Oh, well, have a good day at work. <laughs> you work here. How embarrassed are you right now? Pretty embarrassed? <laughs> Hi, this is Carrie. <laughs> Look how fast you're walking all of a sudden. Slow yeah. down. Like always, please subscribe, please share these with your friends, and please like these, because I like making them. <laughs> and uh, I like hearing what you guys want to know, and see, and what kind of crazy things you want to see me do. But yeah, thanks again, and have a good rest of the week. Bye-bye.